Hello there, this is Dave Allen for Mac 20 Questions and today I'm going to have a look at one of my favourite applications and it's called PopClip. So what is PopClip and what can you do with it? Well, if I double click on this word here to select it, you can see I've got a few choices there. And the reason I've got a few extra options of what I can do with this PopClip is the fact I've added a few extensions to it. So I can do searches with it. I can look for definitions in the dictionary. If I'm in a text editor, I can change it into lowercase text and I can use this one here to put it into OmniFocus or NVAlt, which is a nice text editor. Or I can send a tweet with it or put it into Evernote. Or if I'm working in a text editor and I'm using Markdown, anything that's there in Markdown text will be converted into HTML code. First of all, let's just click on that there. And over in my other window, came up this, so that gave me my uh, dictionary thesaurus and all that sort of stuff, and that's fairly handy, isn't it? So let's take that there and put it into NVAlt. So NVAlt has come up there, I've got a title for the uh, note in NVAlt, and I've got the note there, and it's all in there. That's cool, isn't it? Eh? But what I can do is I can put it into OmniFocus, and there we go, OmniFocus, popped up, took a little while for it to come up there, but it is up there now, and that's there as a task to do in OmniFocus, and I can click on save. So that's uh, pretty handy. I can also go on there and I can get it into Evernote. Let's put it into Evernote and see how that looks. Let's get open Evernote up. In fact, there it is. There's the note that was created. It was there all the time, except that it was just underneath the, uh, the uh, Google Chrome browser there. It wasn't showing itself, that's all. Now if I bring Evernote over here, you can see what I've got here. This is the uh, note that was just created. It didn't get a title put onto it, this one here, but uh, that's okay. It doesn't really matter. If it's untitled, I'll still be able to find it there because Evernote is that good. Okay, so there's a few things you can do with it. Now let's go to another application. So here we are in TextMate and I've got some text here that has been done out in Markdown. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of that. So click on this one here and that's converted immediately into HTML. And it's good HTML as well, so that's all well and good. Okay, so here's our extensions. Let's see how we're gonna install an extension. So the extension I'm gonna want this time is the one that's going to do a word count. So I'm gonna click on that there. Okay, so here we are, downloads folder. Here is our pop clip extension, so I'm gonna do is double click on that. And you can see it's been added to the bottom of the list here. Now you can actually only have 10 links in this here. I don't use that open link one there. And I'm not using Markdownify. That's the one which takes HTML text and turns it into Markdown text. I haven't found that one to be very successful when I was trying it out, but there you go. And uh, Revealing Finder. That could be useful, couldn't it? Okay, so I've got a few ones in there. and I've got word count in there now as well. So what I'm going to do now is going to go back into this one here. So let's take this one here. It, says, it tells me already that I've got 27 words in there. So I didn't have to actually do anything and click on anything. It just tells me straight away. Actually, a character count would be more useful on this one here, wouldn't it? Because I want to see that if it's uh, put it perfectly okay to put it into Twitter. So if I want to put it in Twitter, I want to know how many characters is in there. So let's download that one there. And it's downloaded. I'm going to click on that. That's been added to this one on the bottom, and it says character count on there. Don't need to do anything with this here. I can change the size now if I want to. Put it on the big size, see what happens there. So here you can say if you want to have it shown in the menu bar, which I do, and also if I want it to start at login time. I can say if I want to have it excluded from certain applications, so maybe I don't want pop clip in every application, and I can put an application in there. So let's uh, check this out, and we'll say this one here. And I'm going to see that there's 121 characters, so it could go out to Twitter. So we'll click on that there. Twitter's come up in this one here, and it hasn't put everything in there. It's just got part of what I selected. Well, that didn't work out very well, did it? Not too impressed with that. And I could also have it sent off to uh, Pocket. Pocket's a very good little application there. I use that quite often there if I want to read something that I've got in... On my uh, browser, I don't have time to read right there and then. I'll click and send it to Pocket, and I can do that from iOS on my iPad or iPhone, or I can do it from anywhere else on one of my other browsers on iOS 10 as well, so that's quite good. So there you go, there's a few extensions for PopClip. It's a great little application, and it, what it does basically is that it uh, replicates the sort of behavior you get on iOS 
for doing copies and pastes and stuff. This is Dave Allen for Mac Tuning Questions. Have a look at PopClip yourself, download it, and I think that once you've got it on your system for a wee while, you're probably going to keep it. It's marvellous. Bye bye now. Thanks for watching the video, and why don't you check out the other videos? Here's two of them. There's one video there and one video there that you can click on and go and have a look at now. And don't forget that you can also subscribe. Talk to you again soon. Bye bye now.